this this whole year has been crazy. I mean, what are your thoughts on it? It's actually crazy when you think about it. Like a year ago, there was around 300 people, like you said yourself. Because you look around, there's a Starbucks store right here, Orange Theory, CBS, Stand Up Live. You know, there'd be hundreds of people just chilling out here, eating, you know, vibing. Now we're here, currently in August now, and it's completely empty. It's been more than half a year already. When you think about it, it's like. I mean, back in March, you know, everything was just closing down. I went and did my last trip. Everything's closed down now, so you look at everything. All the restaurants are closed, all the theaters are closed, every public place where people would gather around, you know, be humans, you know, it's all closed, and now everything six feet apart. I can't do nothing. downtown is completely empty I mean everybody's working from home four o'clock people would just be getting out of work streets would be absolutely packed not a single person is walking around us there's maybe a couple hundred people in downtown right now it's completely empty it's insane I've never seen it like this things change rapidly in less than a year I mean you would see kids walking through here as well like going to school coming from school people coming out from actually what, what day is it today Friday yeah Friday it's Friday nights I mean People usually hang out after work. Where's everyone? I mean, you can't really see anybody now. Everyone's home. I mean, and the bigger question would be, how has it affected us? Personally, I do photography as a professional job. And when March hit, I had just launched my website. Worst time for it to happen. It's definitely slowed down. Luckily, things are starting to pick back up as it's heading towards the end of the year. Not many bookings. Many people don't want to come face to face. That's why I choose to wear a mask. You'll notice I'll wear my mask almost everywhere unless I know I don't need to wear it or if I just need to take it off for a quick second but I'll make sure nobody's around me. Business wise it's definitely slowed down and I've definitely noticed a push towards staying at home and working from home and just doing everything online. I just want to stay home. I want to stay safe you know. I mean at my job how it's affected us it's slowed down actually our our percentage is supposed to go. Now we actually sent about like 10 people home for 10 days because there's no work things i mean the economy is slowing down and people don't see it hey, yeah that's another thing economy is tanking because there's not many people using cash if you notice all these papers saying in restaurants or places that they don't accept cash or coins they're requiring you to do cards and it's this whole conspiracy against cashless society and how people have been how we're being tracked by our government and they're like oh with no cash you can't do nothing if you guys noticed in the early 2000s, when credit cards and debit cards became a thing, we are already heading there. We just, mid-class and lower-class people didn't have access to stuff like that. But now we do, and personally, I agree with the cashless society. I don't like cash in my wallet. It's pointless, it's a waste of time, waste of space. <laughs> Not just that, like back in the day, you used to see a lot of college students like coming through. Here. As you can see, there's bottles over there. And you can see like blunt wraps too. Like, yeah, like I get it. We're not New York, but our city still gets packed. And seeing how empty it is right now, like. That's insane. I've never seen it this empty and it just makes me realize this is really serious. I mean, yeah, I took it serious before, but it really helps you understand how much more serious, it is. How much more serious this situation is.